I saw his stuff on Twitter come through today and I was glad he was getting beaten down by everybody. And this wasn't something that was you know, a racial thing or a Republican, Democrat, conservative, liberal. Like, it wasn't any of that stuff. Like John Madden, you couldn't have said his political affiliation. No one cared. No one cared. They knew he's a football coach and all of his players loved him. He was an analyst. All the guys cared, cared about him. He was a good dude. He was a good guy, a good man. So I hear doc, this guy, Dr. Andrew McGregor, he's spouting off on Twitter. I believe he's a professor at like University of Dallas or Dallas University, something like that. So we're talking about the video games and what it has done. And listen, video games, I'm not going to sit here and tell you are the greatest thing to happen to American culture. Like it's gotten kids from being outside, playing in the fields, playing on the courts, doing whatever it is. And it's brought them inside and it's living the sedentary lifestyle. And okay, I get it. I, believe me, I'm not saying that video games are the greatest thing in the world. There are some huge shortcomings when it comes to that. But he sits there and talks about how Madden, the video game, and tweeted out basically to summarize what he put out there, that the video game grew a plantation or an exploitation mentality, uh, mostly of athletes, mostly black athletes, you know, how you're playing with them now. They're in the game. He acted like, you're not making any money. First of all, every player in the NFL is making money off of that. And if you're on the cover, you're making even more. You got your own deal cut out. But players get a cut of that. They get a cut of it. It popularizes them. It's a big deal. It's a huge, huge deal. Saying it dehumanizes the player, increases the violence. You know, the digital plantation metaphor that he tries to throw out there this guy dr andrew mcgregor obviously a white guy played in the nfl a lot of that, a lot of black players I, I don't i never heard anybody speak ill of madden and i've never heard any social scientists try to bring this up and say that you, know, you can talk about video games and increasing the violence and all these different things and you know with regard to how we treat each other in society but I'd never heard it like the dehumanization of athletes, the escalation of violence and all these things from a football game, a football video game, especially those of black players. Never heard anybody say that. Any player I played with, never heard any social scientist, anybody who's a lot smarter than me, no one's ever brought that up. And so as I sit here and, and saw that and read that, like, I was befuddled. I, I was very frustrated. To think that there was someone on the day of a guy's death, this is what we're going to do. Someone who did so many great things. Like I'm saying, this, this guy isn't like having massive skeletons in his closet. There weren't a lot of negative things he did. And granted, it was an era, I guess, before social media and camera phones. But I, I mean, the guy rode on a bus, for heaven's sake, back and forth across the country to call football games. It wasn't like that there was something else there, any ulterior motive that he was stopping and, you know, some sort of, you know, social sycophant doing stuff in these small towns across America. That, that isn't the case. And so we're going to sit here and throw dirt on a guy's legacy and try to say that, you know, in this era that we're bringing this up, by the way, Dr. Andrew McGregor, also a white guy, and he's going to sit here and try to tell us all these different things about what Madden, the video game has done and how it's disenfranchised, dehumanized black players to this level. It is wild to see that happen. I'm going to sit here, man. Like, and if I saw this guy, I'd love to sit down and have a conversation with him. And I guarantee a lot of my teammates would as well. It's absolutely ridiculous when you talk about that. All it is is promoting all of the players, their individuality, their names, putting their faces out there, getting people to know them, opening them, them up to the community, giving you a sense of if you know your players on a better level because, you know, I can play with my team, I can play with my guys, and I understand them. I know where they're from. I know what makes them i know their height their speed at least their physical characteristics and then when i see their face i listen to them talk understand a little bit about them get to know them more i would argue that it's more of a bridge than all the nonsense that he's sitting here throwing out it makes me sick to see that on, on the guy's death you want to say this five years ago say it five years ago don't be throwing it out here on the guy day of a guy's death day of his passing he passed away on tuesday you're throwing this out here on wednesday it's nauseous Nause nauseating makes me sick sick to see that 